Rashmi Duggal. She wants to know what should be the strategy for someone who has already redeemed a major part of the equity investments in anticipation of a market crash. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> you know, uh, you are not alone. There are so many people who were tempted to get out of the market uh, simply because the market kept going up and it is at an all-time high. And when it is at an all-time high, goes up a little bit, it's again an all-time high. And if so many people are surprised by this. Um, take a lesson from this, that you can't guess the market. And look at the opportunity loss. Take a note of it that how much you have lost by you know trying to time it. You have experienced it. And uh, the third thing is that what to do now? Think yourself as an investor. Because now your thought is anchored to the total amount that is lying in your bank account. And uh, you will have the same pain or the same, you know, happiness depending on where the money, uh, the money, think, your, think of yourself as a new investor. And as a new investor, what is a thoughtful way, way of investing a large sum of money? One is that invest on a method, in a methodical way. And uh, I would, uh, you know, normally I say that don't wait for the market. You know, your money was already there in the equity and uh, uh, if you are switching it, then one can well move all the money directly into some other, you know, some other equity option. But here your thought, your your um, uh, your mind is anchored to a certain value. You spread it over some time, six months to twelve months, depending on the scale of money. Take the lesson and. Uh, Make a methodical plan for yourself which you will follow at all times because you will be faced with the same dilemma and the same confusion and same mistake once again. The, you know, you should take a lesson simply because you do, one, nobody should ever repeat the mistake. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, work on an asset allocation plan. Whether you want to be 75% into equity, 25% fixed income or 50% equity, 50% fixed income. Once you do that, then you will be able to resist this, you know, you'll be able to navigate, you'll be able to traverse this uh, uh, thing much more nicely because your 50% into equity would have become 70%. You would not have done this knee jerk thing. Uh, take the whole money out and wait and have regret now. So uh, then you'll be moving 20% money into equity once again, uh, move from equity to debt at the, uh, so you'll be, there'll be some method to it. And it will not be this erratic and it will not create this kind of regret. Uh, and I can assure you that even in future you will, if you don't frame these rules, you will do this mistake again. Mistake again. And uh, this cannot be done by many, most people ever. So Rashmi, it's time for you to jot down a plan for yourself, asset allocation plan. Now, 